how I make my bacon, hash browns, and omelets in the morning for breakfast. So I'm going to pan down here so you can see my ingredients. Okay. All right. We have chopped tomato here. We have about a dozen eggs, close to a dozen eggs here. We've got green pepper, mushroom, red onion, and garlic. I'm going to be using mozzarella cheese shredded and cheddar shredded. So what do I do, what I do? And I'll grab a whisk out of here. I make everything I can in the oven. It just cuts down on things getting splattered all over the oven or all over the top of the range and everything else. So I don't like having to do a ton of cleanup all the time for all the meals every day and snacks and whatnot and desserts that I make. So I try to cut down on all the work that I possibly can. So after I whisk just the eggs and get them kind of broken up in here, and remember guys, save your white eggshells and just lay them out on a cookie sheet or something to air dry for a couple days. And then you can grind them up in a ninja. Right here's the ninja, and I just do this and grind them up into powder. Excellent for plants. It gives plants calcium. Okay, so after I've got that mixed, I'm going to add some heavy whipped cream. And I don't want to do too much, but just to break up the egg a little bit. Mix that in. Now to help cut down on time of cooking, because a lot of people, that's why they don't like to cook at home. They'd rather just go to Burger King and get breakfast or whatever, which is not healthy for you, but it is good on occasions, is the time consumption that it takes to chop everything up and to make stuff. So what you can do is like the night before, when everyone's watching movies and you're not interested in them or you've lost interest in them, come out and chop up everything that you're going to use the, for the next morning's omelet. You know, come chop up your green pepper and your red onion or sweet onion and your mushrooms and your tomatoes and then put it in a container with a lid. And then that part's done the next morning. You don't have to stand around here chopping everything up. It makes it quicker. So what I do is, some people will just make their omelet without the stuff in it. But I say, why do that? We're trying to do easy peasy less work. So I throw in all my ingredients. Green pepper, mushrooms, garlic, onion. Get it all in there. As I'm shooting it across the counter. And then you just mix. Get it all in there. Now I season and use like a little bit of Italian seasoning because that always makes if I can find my Italian seasoning. I think that makes the omelet taste better. We'll use this one. So, grind, grind, grind. I put a little bit of Italian, well not a little bit, I put a good amount of Italian seasoning in here. And you could also use chopped frozen spinach that's thawed out and just put a little of that in here too. But if you can't stand spinach, then you leave that out. That's just optional. Salt and pepper. I use Himalayan pink salt. And I'm going to use some black crushed pepper. And we're just going to mix this. Now I'm going to use a little bit of oil, olive oil on my cookie sheet. Shut my timer off. I've got bacon in the oven. Another trick is if you're making bacon, you know how bacon likes to curl when you try to fry it in a pan? It curls all up and rolls all over itself. All you have to do is lay your bacon strips, and I'll try to get a shot of that for you here in a minute. 
lay your bacon strips on your cookie sheet, stick it in your oven on 400 degrees for about 15-20 minutes, or the crispiness level that you like, you and your family. Voila! And it's it cooks all flat. It doesn't curl. I'm all about easy. I do semi semi homemade cooking. I try to make it easy as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread the egg all over the cookie sheet. And then I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Come back and I'm going to put these in the oven. And here I'll try to show you a shot of the bacon. When you cook bacon on a cookie sheet, that's what you get. They're all flat. They don't curl up on themselves. And you just cook them to the degree that you like them cooked. The crispiness level. My husband doesn't like it real crispy. I do. So I try to get a happy degree. Put the eggs in there. And this is going to be for the hash browns. I'm spreading some olive oil on the top of tin foil. These are the hash brown patties that you get at Walmart or Hy-Vee. Lay them out on the pan. Remember, my oven's on 400 degrees. You can use 425 too, but I like to go a little bit on the low side just so things don't get out of control and burn because then you kind of ruined everything and all your work. Let's see if I can fit these down in here. let these cook and I'll bring you back when they're done and show you what we've got. Okay guys we're back. So I wanted to show you I've done my entire breakfast in the oven. Nothing frying on top of the range. So here's, you see how it's not liquidy? It's in solid state when I wiggle this. That's when you're going to take it out and that's when I sprinkle my cheese all over it. I have cheddar and mozzarella. over. Now we're going to stick it back in until the cheese melts. The hash browns are still in the oven. This is the bacon that I cooked on a cookie sheet. Now here are some pieces that I've cooked more crispy because that's how I personally like it. Let me hold it back here so you can see. You can see these are darker, these three here. These are less and more pliable because my husband doesn't like them super brown. So, these are mine. Crispy. These are my husband's and my son's because they like them pliable and still wiggly. So those are done and I have them on a paper towel so the grease gets off of it and it's not quite so bad for your heart and your arteries. We'll set them over here. And the hash browns are still cooking like I said in the oven until they get golden brown and then I take them out and they're done. And we should probably get some toast in the toaster. to be done when the eggs are all done. Pull the eggs out and this is what they look like. Just let them sit here and cool for a few moments before I start slicing it up and putting it on the plate. So then I just put my thing and my spatula and I just cut through here, just like you would pizza or pie.
little tricky getting the first piece out, but once you get the first piece out, then it comes out with no problem. Or anyway, it doesn't for me. See that? You just set it on a plate, and you can do double decker, like if you have a husband that has a large appetite. Just do the double decker. If you can see that. Oh, toast popped up. Put it right on top. Here are the golden brown hash browns. Everything was done in the oven. So that's bringing it back up. So that's breakfast, omelet, bacon, and the hash browns all done in the oven. Thanks guys. See you soon. Bye.